Hey there, my name is Julian and welcome to MemberScript 125. So in this one, what we're doing is toggling whether or not form fields are required based on whether or not a uh, checkbox is checked. And yeah, that's a mouthful. This one is not an easy one to give a name to. But if you're here, you probably know why you want to use it. And along with that, we have a couple use cases uh, right here that you can see as an example. So first, let me show you what it does. So you don't waste time watching a tutorial if you don't even need it. And then after that, we're going to go into Webflow and you can see how it is built and which attributes you need. So with that being said, first things first, this is the use case for setting required if checkbox is checked. So setting fields to required. So right now, these are just optional. I can put them in, but I don't need to. Um, but let's say I click this create an account. As we can see, this little asterisk gets added. And if I, let's say, type in this and this and click submit form, it's going to tell me that this is required. But if I remove that and then click submit form, it is going to let me submit the form. So then we have remove required if checkbox is checked. So this is just the opposite. So as you can see here, name and email address are required by default. Um, but if I go, so let's go ahead and see that as an example. Let's type in something for name, something for something else and leave email address blank. As we can see, this is required. But if we click check out as a guest and then submit it, then we do not need to add an email address. And then finally, this is essentially an add on to the previous two. And this is set disabled if not required. So in these use cases here, you may, let's say someone says check out as a guest, you may not even want their name or email address altogether. So in this case, you can have it so that when you click that, these become useless. They don't do anything. As you can see, they become, they, they don't do anything. Um, so that is an additional attribute that you can use. Now to go into Webflow and show you which attributes you need in order to make this work. And before I do that, what I'm going to say is you are going to need to add the code for MemberScript 125 onto your page. Here it is in the demo project. If you're watching this on the MemberStack site, then just go to the tab, click copy code and paste it wherever you need it. If you're watching this from YouTube, go to the link in the description, which will link you to the page with the code. And as always, best practice, do not include this site wide unless you need it on every single page on the site. Only put it where it needs to be. So anyways, now let's talk about attributes. First things first, we have our checkbox and that will have the attribute ms-code-rec require if checked. So keep an eye on this. I'm just going to read it as require if checked, ms code require if checked. Then we have this one as the value, and that is essentially the ID. So that we are also going to add to this next attribute here, ms-code-rec-label. This means require label, um, and this has a one. So this is going to be visible if the field is required. And then the input has the attribute ms-code-rec-input equals one. And so does this, we can add this to as many different inputs as we want, as long as this checkbox is the one that is toggling it. So that is it for this set required if checkbox is checked. Then we have remove required if checkbox is checked. And this, all of the attributes for the label and for the inputs are the exact same. The only difference is this one here, the attribute for the checkbox is ms code rec if unchecked instead of rec if checked. And as you can see, the value for this and this and uh, this are two. That's our unique identifier is two. Yours might be a word, might be a number, might be a letter, whatever you want it to be. And then finally, if you want to add on top of that to disable the form input, which is all it's going to do is set pointer events to none and set opacity to, I believe, 40%. All you need to do is add another attribute, which is ms-code-disable-if-not-rec. That's a mouthful. Sorry. Couldn't figure out how to make it make sense without the long attribute name. Uh, so that is it. Literally just add that attribute to either one of these and it will work. And the only other thing I want to mention is maybe you want a different style. 
if your um, field is disabled. That is controlled over here in the code at the bottom. Opacity set to 0 0.4, which is 40%, and set pointer events to none. If you want to make this different, my recommendation would be to take this, give it to your favorite AI assistant, mine personally is Claude, and just let it know what you want to happen instead. Or if you can code, go ahead and do it yourself. Um, so that is it. Hopefully this works for you. If not, or if you have any questions, just go to the MemberStack 2.0 Slack in the MemberScripts chat channel and let me know. I'll be happy to help. Talk to you soon and have a great day.